Hi, everyone. Welcome. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to build a powerful personal brand. I'm going to walk you through some strategies of how to exactly set up your brand in a way that you have a unique identity in your marketplace, especially with all the changes in the market that are happening and with the NAR settlement and everything that's happening where you want to ensure that your clients and people that you're working with choose you as a realtor and you stay top of mind. So I'm going to walk you through those strategies. So stay with me. I'm going to open up my presentation and, and walk you through exactly how to build a powerful powerful brand and attracting clients the right way. My name is Tarmila Rajasingham and if you don't know me, I'm a realtor here with DXP Realty and I'm also a global team leader and I have about 70 agents that I work with on a, a daily basis, on a weekly basis here at EXP and I have a privilege of working closely with thousands of agents here through EXP University and on my own um, trainings that I've done. So I love coming on here talking about marketing and lead generation systems process because i'm actually a marketer that turned realtor i worked in marketing for over over a decade uh, primarily working for government and not for profits and and private brands doing marketing consulting and i used to write hundreds of marketing plans on on a yearly basis to managing over 12 social media accounts so my expertise of it really comes from you'll see a lot of my trainings I get into the you know the principles of things because I'm a true believer in in strategy and and I hope to share that with you today because of what you learned here you can apply that to any business any phase of your 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 journey as a realtor and I am a, a digital marketing instructor for a college outside of this as well so that's why I, I love teaching and I'm I'm a, I have a passion for this and and for those of you you probably seen me doing a lot of training on KB core because I'm a KB core peer coach with inside real estate as well and and I have a big passion for CRM's process system so you'll see a little bit of that come through here in my training so as always you know connect with me on Instagram I'm on Facebook YouTube I have a number of YouTube channels and and I'm on LinkedIn as well so I love to to stay connected but you know what to do if you're at EXP you know the best way to connect is in our workplace so head on over there send me a quick follow on my profile and if you have any questions you can always message me there and I'm always posting about events and free trainings and master classes and my YouTube videos, EXP University trainings, any of those stuff goes on my, my timeline so you can check that out. So let's talk about personal branding. And when I talk about personal branding and the whole concept of branding, you know, I was talking to one of my agents recently as well. And, you know, she said she was overwhelmed with that concept and, and what it means, where do I start? And when you think about personal branding, which is kind of the action of taking your brand and positioning it and, and really taking it to in, and activating that brand is the, the 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 verbiage where the branding comes from. And when you position your brand, you're really thinking intentionally about how shaping and managing managing the way other people see you. So how are people in your marketplace going to perceive you? And it's really important because once you build a unique identity around who you are, you're not changing anything about you. You're really taking who you are. And, and, you're sh and you're bringing that to your marketplace and, and people will attract to you. And how do you do that? And there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. So, and, but before we do that, you really want to understand the concept of personal branding. So the, a perception and the impression of an individual is, is what essentially what personal branding is. And you're leveraging your experiences, your expertise, actions, achievement, things you, that you're doing within your you as a brand, as a realtor, and, and you're really using that as a leverage to, to shine a light on you and to, to activate that brand and to position that brand within a community, within a marketplace, and within a certain industry. And that's and the way you can do this, again, you can elevate your credibility and your brand presence, and you can differentiate yourself from your, your competition from a couple of these laws that I'm going to touch on. Because when you talk about personal branding, you really get into the strategy and the principles of things. So I want to take the eight laws of personal branding and start to kind of break it down so that you understand how does this apply when it comes to audience, your vision, your mission, and your value as a brand, and how does it all tie in together and you know, I'm gonna quote uh, the the very famous author and and business coach, a marketing expert, Brian Tracy. I I absolutely love his concept and approach to things. And he said this quote, and I it absolutely stuck with me. And I use it in a lot of my training. And he says, everything counts. 
Everything that you do either creates and builds your brand or it weakens and destroys your brand. So that means that when you're on Instagram and you're posting something, you're thinking about your audience. You're thinking about the people that are following you. Does that make sense? Because sometimes when you become on Instagram, and I know some realtors that aren't even in, in a, you know, they're creating content sometimes for realtors, day in the life of a realtor. But their their primary audience on their channel are their clients, their buyer, seller clients, maybe investor clients. And so it's really important that you're constantly thinking about creating content for the people that are following you and, and really thinking about your business goal and connecting it to the your audience. And that's why I wanted to put this out there is being intentional about everything that you do and every action you do when it comes to your brand and how you show up. And this is going to help you really lay out your your brand and how to take it to the next level. How do you build out a brand? And I'm going to leverage the eight laws of personal branding to kind of walk you through that. The first law of personal branding is the law of spe specialization. What this means is that you're finding a focus. You know, maybe they, you're, you you want to, you know, serve the realtor moms, you know, you're the realtor mom, maybe you want to focus on veterans and maybe a military spouse, maybe you want to talk about the condos in a particular area. I live in City Place in downtown Toronto, and I'm, I'm in the right downtown in the middle of the city. I'm right beside the Rogers Centre where the Blue Jays Stadium is, and for me, my content looks a little bit different. I live right by the waterfront and my lifestyle is a little bit different. And I even had people DM me asking me, hey, how do you have young children and living there? And, and for that, me, I'm able to now share contact. Hey, the school just got built. I have this amazing daycare and schools that's nearby. And people who don't live there might not know that. So it's really important that you figure out where do you want to specialize? Maybe geographically, what's your specialization? And from a the audience perspective, what is that specialization and what's our focus? Number two is the law of leadership. And what I mean by that is, again, you're positioning yourself to become a leader in your community. And when you become a leader in your community and as that go-to neighborhood realtor, you want to make sure you know the market stats, you know what's happening and what's selling in that neighborhood. You understand the conditions of the industry of how and when people come to connect with you you are the leader and have an authority figure because you have access to the right information. So making sure you're leveraging your realtor board, you're leveraging EXP, you're leveraging your brokerage and leveraging your brokers, going to your sales meeting, making sure you're going to your rallies, you're going to your trainings to make sure that you're equipped with the right information. And again, make sure that your content is credible, what you're sharing, because this is where you can really differentiate yourself from the competition. And the other one, the third is the law of personality. And this is where everything about your, your brand is built around. It's the law of personality. And this is a beautiful part about it because I really want to mention this is that people often, and I really pay attention to this, we, and you might know a friend or two or maybe another, you know, a colleague that does this, your online presence has to match your offline behavior, folks. So you as a personality, who you truly are, intrinsically, when people meet you offline, has to match your online personality. There are people that have an elaborate online personality, but when you meet them in person, it doesn't match. So when your client sees you on your YouTube video, when they see you on that Instagram post and that reel, and then they come to see you and you're about to show them a property, and your personality isn't the same, there's going to be a disconnect and you can lose trust from that. So make sure when you're building your brand and really when you're building your brand is you're taking who you are and you're getting it out to your clients and you're fine tuning it to fit the right audience and the messaging, make sure your voice, your tone, your messaging, it's all in, they're all consistent with who you are and your values and your personality. So again, you're not changing who you are truly. And that's why I love about personal branding is when you're not branding. And I worked for major brands and I, and really for the first decade of, uh, of my career, I spent really branding and focusing on branding other, other companies and, and other products and services where now I'm in this unique space where I'm personally branding myself as a, as a real estate marketer, as a realtor, as an investor, as a KB Corp Pure coach. So what does that look like? And my audience sometimes looks like investors. Sometimes my audience are you, real estate agents. So now I'm, I'm creating content that better serves you. So you want to think about how am I in service to others and is my personality and who I am, again, 
am I is, am I matching to ensure that I'm and really delivering it to the right audience. Number four, the fourth law of personal branding is the law of distinctiveness. And this is, is the part that's going to really set you apart. And you might have seen this in marketing. If you've ever taken it, you might have seen it as a UVP, as unique value proposition. You might have seen it as a US which is unique selling proposition, similar. And they're pretty much you putting your who you are, what makes you unique into action. A really great example is one of my agents, she told me recently she's a military spouse and she wants to target veterans and, you know, take out content and talk about, you know, VA loans and et cetera. And, and because that's a different market, that's amazing. So now you can start to create content in newsletters and social media posts and videos around that. I have another agent who has a certification in accessibility and he's also a wheelchair user and he's also has a certification in senior um, accredited for seniors and, and older adults. So 55 plus community. And of course your content and the properties that you're gonna be finding for that, that audience group is gonna be different. And that's gonna make you unique because now he's gonna share content about accessibility, about certain doorknobs, about the way that, you know, having stairs versus not stairs and a property, the way that it's designed, the layout is gonna look different. But I don't know that because I haven't taken that training, but he has, and that's what makes him unique. You see that? So figure out who you are. For me, I, I'm a big baseball fan. I'm a mom of young children right downtown Toronto. I'm, I'm a marketer. I have this huge experience working with CRMs. So now I'm trying to figure out, okay, this is what I'm really good at doing. Here's who I can serve. Here's who I can help. And this is what I'm really good at. And it's my strength. And this is what makes me unique. And now I'm going to share those messaging and make sure that I share it in a way that I attract that audience group. So that's why that law of distinctiveness is so important to making you really, again, set yourself apart from the competition. And the, the fifth law of personal branding is the law of visibility. And this is where you, this is great. Now you established who you are, your personality, your tone and voice. Now you know what your unique value proposition is. You know exactly who you're going to target and how do you have those people work with you? How do you now start to build your database? It's around the visibility. You need to put out content. You need to start sharing content repeatedly and consistently. You're going to start to choose one or two channel. You're going to start to put content and messaging around value that is going to be fitting for that audience group. Again, that visit, the more you put out content, maybe top five homes with pools, top five homes near the school, maybe top 10 homes that are accessibility friendly, you know, things like that. That's going to make you now people that see it, for example, if I were to post top 10 areas in the greater Toronto area or or in Ontario to invest in, now people know she's an investor-based realtor. Now, if I were to, for example, my agent who is serving military, who's, a, uh, who's really going after the military audience now when she starts to post content about that audience group, they're going to know, okay, she's specifically meant for me and I'm going to work with this agent. And I have another agent who's actually in North Carolina and she has an amazing YouTube channel and a website on probates. And that's all she works on, probates and wills, and that's her specialty. And now she's working really closely with attorneys and lawyers, and that's like kind of our business partner. So now once you figure out that audience group, you could figure out different channels to get yourself out there. And a lot of time in marketing, people think that, oh, this isn't working for me, or I don't know if this is the right tactic, marketing tactic, but it's not the marketing tactic because if you chose something that you truly enjoy, and because I don't want to push someone to be in front of camera if they're not you know, they're not comfortable in front of being in front of camera, right? So you don't want to maybe you choose YouTube videos or maybe you don't want to do reels, but you can certainly do blogs. You can certainly do posts on Instagram. You can certainly do, again, articles on LinkedIn. You can certainly leverage KB Core and start to share property, search alerts, smart campaigns, Facebook ads, property boots, name it. You know, I can sit here and talk about KB Core for hours. So again, law of visibility is, again, getting out that one or two marketing tactics repeatedly consistently. Trust me, do it until it works. That's why there's agents that are top producers and all they do is cold call. They're top producers. All they do is door knock. There are top producers. I have top producers in my group. All they do is YouTube, right? So choose your marketing tactic and stick to it and come repeatedly because the more you post, you're nurturing your clients repeatedly.
law, the sixth law of personal branding is the law of utility. And what this law says is, again, going back to being making sure your offline behavior matches your public brand huge disconnect this is where trust is lost when you're building a brand i'm not sure if you've ever heard of no like trust factor people have to know you first of all right they need to know that you exist and they have to start to like you and be like oh i kind of like a personality i think she the, she's the right fit and they have to trust you remember this is a massive transaction is a huge transaction in their life that you're going to be helping them with and navigating them through they need to trust you so that's why you have to make sure when they come to see you, they're like, oh, my goodness. And sometimes I'm not going to lie to you when I meet with agents and I, you know, they book a call into my calendar after watching my YouTube video. They're like, oh, my goodness. Wow, you're a real person. So good to see you because I've been watching you on YouTube and it, and I'm the same person as I show up on YouTube. And I may talk a little slower, but you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, my personality is the same. My passion is still there. I'm still attentive. My my knowledge and skills is the same. And that builds rapport, builds relationship and, and trust, most importantly. Law, seventh law of personal branding is the law of persistence. I love this because I, like I mentioned earlier, 90% of the time, you know, we don't reach our goal is because we give up on them too early. And to actually quote our founder, Eddie X. Spiegel and Sanford, he said it perfectly, you know, sometimes it's not our, our abilities that hold us back. It's our ability to stick with it. Yeah, sometimes some things may challenge us, the industry, things that are outside of our control, like when COVID happened, when regulations changed, nor our settlement, these things will happen that are outside of your control as a realtor, as a business owner. But our job is to persist. Our job is to find different ways to stick with it, to pivot. Growth requires time and it, 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 and growth, and I just recently posted on my Instagram, it inherently requires to be outside of your comfort zone. And that comes with marketing as well and your brand. And your brand may take different look and feel as you evolve and that's okay. And that's why I always tell people, go on my YouTube channel, I talk about the SWOT analysis, assess your brand internally, strength, weakness, externally, opportunities, threats. And, and really, a lot of these things, if you understand the strategy and the principle, these you do it once and they stick with you because you build a powerful brand that's going to continue living. So this year, if you focus on this audience group and next year you focus on that audience group, you're disconnecting. And now a lot of time people try this. Oh, it's not working. And they jump to this. Oh, that's not working. Now you're all over the place. And, and what's starting to grow and sprout? Just like a seed, right? Once it's starting to sprout, if you stop watering it and say, ah, I don't know, it's not growing too fast and you go somewhere else, now that plant is, an, is, is, now, is not going to grow, right? Similar concept applies to your business. Last law of personal branding, the law of goodwill. I love this. Folks, and people can see it, the way you speak, the way you communicate, well-intentioned, embodies your value. You, at the end of the day, do, you know, I'm a big believer in the universe the law, you know, make sure you do things from a good intention place. At the end of the day, your personal brand, it, it'll be risked if you serve people and in not in, in a good intention manner. So your values, make sure whatever it is, whether you're trustworthy, honest, you know, humble, happy, exciting, whatever your values are as a brand, make sure that, and you know, even as much as you, you how you show up, it'll be translated because of the way your energy is, the way that you will be seen on Instagram or Facebook or whatever tool that you use, whether it be a post, whether how you write, whether your tone of voice in the way you write, or even in the way that you present on video. The law of goodwill is huge as a personal branding because remember when people business, we are working with people, energy, so it's really important. It'll be seen through. So make sure you are transparent in who you show up, authentically real and, and well-intentioned and from a good place. And that's why I never take shortcuts. When in, when in doubt, ask your broker, make sure you're supported because your client's best interest is the most important. And that is is the exact same thing when you're applying to your personal brand. You notice I highlighted so many aspects of your brand, not just looking at you internally, but putting your clients and your audience at the forefront because that's what this is all about. Okay, now you're probably wondering, okay, that's so great. Now I learned the strategy and principle. How do I put it into action? 
How does the, my brand come to life? Here, some essentials. So if you're new agent starting out, or if you've been in the business and you realize watching this video that you need to go and assess this, a great time to do that. So you're developing creative assets to and establishing this in a, in a way to give yourself that distinctive identity so that you can connect authentically with your audience and so that you can build that trust, recognition. Again, you can be repeatedly seen. Your content can look the same as you go. If you go on my all my presentations, you know my, my look and feel of my presentations. When you go on my Instagram, you know you're on my Instagram. You go on my website, you know you're on my website. And when you go on my my YouTube channel, you know it's me because of my voice and tone. I'm the same person on my Instagram as I am on my YouTube. And how do I do that is through some of these ad sets. First and foremost, get some professional headshots. That's another way that people are going to, first of all, build trust and recognition, right? And if you can't take a good, clear, and trust me, the amount of agents, the moment they come into my group, the first thing I ask them is go get a professional headshot so I can first, I need to use it to promote you, but I won't even share it if you don't have a good photo because what's that going to tell your clients? If you can't even take a good photo of yourself, how could you support their property and the sale of their property and making sure that it's, sell, it's ready to sell to the clients? So very similar aspects. How you present is how you're going to present their properties. Biography, write a little bit about who you are and, and you can go and check out my website. I made a little, you know, um, into, you know, a little into, um, to make sure that I'm making it a little personal and I made it in a way that isn't too, prof it's professional, but it's also getting personal as well. The visual identity is important. So make sure you go create, have a look and feel for the color. And if you need help with any recommendations around that, you can always message me on what, uh, in Workplace and I'll be helped. Uh, I can help point you in the right direction. You can also go on Fiverr and get some of those done for small, very small fraction of the price. And they're kind of done. And a business cards at EXP, we give, when you first come into the company, you get free thousand business cards. They have tons of templates in the marketing center. Order them. So this way you can take something with you. You can have digital business cards as well. Something again, this is your visual recognition that you can build trust with people. When you go to events, when you go show properties, you can, you can connect with your clients, your website. It's also a lead capture. It's going to help you build your business. It's going to track your clients and leads and their footprint, like I mentioned in a lot of my KB Core, video, uh, KB Core videos. However, your website is also your visual identity. And so make sure your website, your headshots, your biography, your business cards, they all have similar look and feel, and they all are connected. And you can leverage, obviously, ChatGPT for it. If you need help with that, you can always head to my YouTube channel. I have tons of videos coming on that. And social media graphics, make sure, again, you can use Canva for that tons of templates. You can use karubi.social for that. For sale signs, and you know, making sure, again, your for sale sign look similar to the branding as your websites and your social media. And so there isn't a disconnect. You know, your for sale sign shouldn't be purple and your all of your Instagram posts and your social media graphics and everything is, you know, green. So making sure you're bringing it together. And then the other thing is, again, like open house signage and anything that you do, bringing it together and making sure they're consistent in the look and feel. Lastly, I wanted to make sure this and think of it like a checklist for your branding. Five C's of personal branding. And I highly recommend you have this kind of put aside in anything that you do. Maybe you want to take a post-it post note, write this out, put it on your computer. So right before you post that social media post, before you do that YouTube video, any of these visual identity or creative assets that you're going to create, it's a clear is it consistent in branding with everything that I'm doing and consistent with my voice, my value? Is the is the content, is the content consistent with with all of the ways that I'm doing? Is your content consistent? You should be posting today on Instagram and then tomorrow YouTube and then you put aside all of that and then start doing something else like cold calling. So making sure your content, you're consistent in whether it be blog posts, you're consistent in those. And because that's how you build SEO, for example, right? Connection, making sure that in one of the C's of personal branding is making sure the content is you're able to interact, is connecting with your audience, thinking about that. And the other one is confidence. And when you're confident in the way that you show up in your content, it gives you credibility. It shows the people that you are knowledgeable in what you talk about. And that, if, for example, like anytime I talk about marketing, I know you can ask me any questions and I'll be able to answer them 
because that's what I do for a living. I teach people marketing for a living. I've worked in marketing for over a decade and I have a degree in marketing. So it translates differently because I'm confident in it and, and I could speak confidently about it. But at the same time, and even the way I package some of these content is to serve my audience. I can really go down a textbook kind of a, a material and start throwing out terminologies. And even then when I'm trying to use some terminologies like creative assets or personal branding essentials. And I'm really trying to be, you know, cognizant of the words that I'm using so that you can still understand, especially if you're a new realtor and you've never worked in marketing or you don't know what personal branding is. You have no idea what a creative asset is. Again, it's items, marketing pieces that you're bringing together so that people can understand and see you. You can visually, these are the things you're branding. This, this concept lives through these tactics. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if, in, if you have any questions at all, you can always leave it in the comment section of this video and I'd be happy to answer them. You can find me in EXP Workplace and send me a DM. You can find me on Instagram on I'm Tavares Rajasingham. I'm my business partner. My husband and I, we are domestic partners um, at Team here at EXP. So we have an Instagram together. So if you are a couple and team, you can also always look at our Instagram to see how we mirrored and created this visual identity for us as a couple and we have a youtube channel where we serve investors so you can check that out as well and my youtube channel for all of you realtors that i have go check it out subscribe click on the notification bell you get updates on more content like this i have a whole playlist on branding marketing lead generation of 70 plus videos free on kv core leverage them they're all made for you my fellow realtors especially for my, my exp family so check it out any questions at all, you can always leave it in the comment section. If there's more content you want to see, you can always connect with me. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.